<laughs> is it hard to avoid dealing with uh, infestation from bugs? It is. No, it's not hard to avoid it, but that's part of the work side of it throughout the life cycle process, right? Um, this is farming mm -hmm. and in farming and all the produce that reaches our stores and our tables. Um, bugs are everywhere. Bugs are everywhere, but there's also pesticides that are everywhere, right? And, and having a keen understanding of what's good for people, what's good for the plant, um, you know, what things you're trying to prevent uh, makes that process a lot easier. You know, uh, there are a number of different things that attack those plants specifically. And we call, we're talking about uh, hemp, cannabis, um, indica, and sativa. Um, you know, things like aphids, little gnat flies, um, spider mites mm. are, are, are big, uh, stupid pests that, that like to kill your whole yield um but non-pests too like powdery mold if the area is too moist um if the soil or, or medium is too moist um mold will develop on the leaves that will eat away at your plants um injuring them causing them to be sick um and 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 that's easy that's something that's easily passed on from plant to plant because it's airborne spores uh so keeping a regimen you know, weekly to, you know, bi-weekly regimen to prevent those things. Uh, defoliating, you know, keeping keeping your, your leaf body down so that pests can't, don't have a good breeding ground. Uh, those things are important. So uh, it's not hard. I was, I, I wouldn't say it's hard to prevent, but it is something that if you don't address mm -hmm. constantly throughout, um, it, it's easy to contract. Okay. Okay. Have you ever lost a harvest due to any of those? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've lost partial plants. I've lost entire entire yields. Oh. Um, yeah, so you know that's heartbreaking because a lot of times you won't know it's gone until the very end, right? Mm. Uh, you've taken it from seed to or clone four or five months through the vegetative process and then you bloomed it two to three months for the bloom process and you get to the last two weeks and you got all these webs all over your stuff and it's like oh my god like i spent all that time with this plant and you know you, you're looking at it like you're excited about what's about to come from it because you're seeing all these beautiful flowers pop up everywhere is there a way to salvage that or you just gotta go ah fuck it I mean, so there are ways to salvage it, um, but it depends, you know, all about the grower's integrity. Okay. Um, you know, as a as a consumer for most of my life, um, I wasn't aware of all the things that could affect the plant. So I know as a consumer, I wasn't aware of this when I was making purchases. So I was probably, you know, ingested or smoked any, any type of stuff that had powdery mold, spider mites, or any of these other uh, pests um, um, attacking um, whatever I had at the time uh, but you know integrity uh, people that grow with integrity people that you know produce for others uh, with integrity you know you want a, you want a clean product you, you want, want a clean product, product. Yeah. You, want, you want something that's quality so yeah. um, there are like cutoff points where you can't do anything about certain things certain problems so you just you, you're trying to do preventive measures so you don't have to deal with that at those points um but then you know there are weird freak anomalies in nature that just happen and you just have to figure out ways to deal with it so um, there are ways to salvage um harvest um but it depends on how bad of uh, a problem you're dealing with uh, so it just varies so so now so so was that early early on for you when you were losing harvest uh, I, I've lost one harvest. Out of one harvest, okay. One harvest in what, it, like six years? So, um, and and that was because I introduced plants from another house into my garden. So you can do everything you want to do, but you know you got to also be vigilant about what comes in, what goes out of the garden. You know who comes in, who goes out. You know, clean uh, 
clean environments help prevent, you know, definitely. Issues. So definitely, because you don't it was, know. What, it was definitely a know. learning. It was definitely a learning process, and it's something that I, I you know, because of my experience, um, the service that I provide for others, I've made mistakes that I can help people prevent. And that's okay. that's the most advantageous thing about having a teacher through anything, you know, having someone that's a master at something allows you to, you know, mitigate some of the mistakes that you would have made just on your own. OK, OK. Having help is, is always essential, man. I keep telling people okay. that you, you got to have someone that knows better than you do. Always. You can't be the smartest person in the room. Well, you know, all the time. You're, in you're the not wrong learning. Room. You're not growing. You're not you're, growing if, you're, if that's the case. You're in the wrong room if you are. If you're constantly mm -hmm. the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. South side, how you doing? East side, how you doing? West side, how you doing? North side, how you doing? South side, how you doing? East side, how you doing? West side, how you doing?